It's in there. Unpaid bills. It's a bit late for that, kiddo. It's just some letters. Anything interesting? No, just from Bill. Bye, beast. <laughs> you watch out for those crocodiles. Yeah. Take your arm off. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'll write you an email, OK? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Tom Lapper, Darwin. Take it easy. Oh, good, eh? Look at the scullies. I'd have thought Bill would have at least made the effort to be there and say goodbye. He probably just got held up. Ruth must have been embarrassed to see them arrive so early. Hmm. I suppose I should ring and cancel the cleaners. Yep. Then I should probably just snip over and explain the mix-up. Oh, I wouldn't worry. They arrived early. They can't expect the place to be spotless. I guess. Of course, if you did go over, you'd get a better view of them than you're getting from there. <sighs> You know it's wrong to stick your beak. Oh, you two are incorrigible. Three girls. Oh, that'll make the boys in the street very happy. <laughs> no, none of them look backward and coming forward either. Oh, Carl, so judgmental. Uh -huh. I'm going to go see Drew. I'll see you guys later. I am going to take the key over. Where do I leave it? Oh, bedroom. Phil and Ruth have gone, haven't they? Yep. Oh, damn it. I wanted to say goodbye. At least you're in time to check out the new arrivals. I know. It didn't take long. Mm. Natives seem friendly. Mm, he's all right. Oh, not my type. Oh, now that's more like it. Hey, you handsome. <laughs> hey, yourself. Uh, uh, I think he's taken. I think you might be right. <laughs> I want to talk to you about something. We have time before work. Ooh, sounds ominous. Uh, well, it's important. Okay, I'll grab a coffee before I start. Great. Hi. G'day. Hi. I'm um, Susan Kennedy from next door. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie. This is Fleet. Felicity. Hi. Hi. Um, are your mum and dad around? Yeah. Yeah, sure. This oh. way. Uh, was that your son? Bill? Yeah, did you meet him? Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> She'd like to, though. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, do you like a hot water bottle, then? She's still crook. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? Any idea where we'd find a hot water bottle? Uh, um, uh, would a hot cupboard do the trick, Angel? Would you go through some of those boxes? I'll look through these. <clears throat> I can find anything. I doubt it in this oh, chaos. Place is oh, terrible to mess and it smells of dog. Minnie! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. How rude. Hello. I'm Lynn. Hello, I'm Susan. And this is Joe. Uh, nice to meet you. Hello, Susan. Hi. Oh, have you met Felicity and Stephanie? Yes, yes, I have. Oh, and this is our youngest, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. She's not feeling the best. We're pretty sure she'll come good after all the work is done. Uh, Flick, give me a hand to find the hot water bottle. Steph, keep moving. We'll be here till midnight. You'll have to excuse my husband, Sue. He doesn't believe in hiring removalists when any slaves will do. <laughs> I thought slaves work. <laughs> Uh, look, I'll get out of your hair. I just wanted to let you know that Ruth and Phil weren't expecting you to move in for another couple of days. They've left keys with me for the cleaners, which is why the place is still in a bit of a mess. Did you know about this? No, I, I can't remember. Thank you for letting us know, Sue. I don't feel nearly as annoyed now. Oh, good. Um, I probably don't need these. There you go. Um, look, it's just a little thing. It's, it's um, Susan, not Sue. Oh! I am sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh, you don't feel like a Sue, well, right? No. I'm sorry. It's just that Susan always sounds that bit old-fashioned, you know. It, 
was really nice to meet you all. Yeah, you too. Oh, yeah, thanks so much. Hey. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, oh, she seems nice. Voila! Oh, thanks, hun. OK, all hands on deck. Uh, not you, Angel. You take it easy. Come on, you two. Bogan looking, if you ask me. They're bogan looking. It's weird watching strangers move into your old home, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit. Oh, here's trouble. No, it's Bill. I think I might make a move. You can't run away every time you see him. Yeah, well, that's the way he wants it. Hey, Toad, can you just wait till I'm out the back before oh, you Ian, open you're the being door, ridiculous. Please? Toadie, open the door. Toadie! You call me an Amy immature. Oh, I'm not being immature. I've just said goodbye to my parents, and I really don't want to have to face him. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just going. Yeah, um,. Look, I'm sorry I missed saying goodbye to Phil and Ruth. I wanted to, but I had an early start and time got away. Yeah, sure. Did they get off okay? Yeah, thanks. Look, you don't have to go. Uh, yeah, no, look, I was heading off anyway. Bye. So, to check out the new guys? Yeah, yeah. How's the oldest one? Pretty cute? That's so really push. My editor's not going to give me anything more interesting than new bus shelter stories. Mm, yeah, that is pretty rough. Yeah, and boring. <laughs> yeah, uh, Liv, look, is this what you wanted to talk about? I've really got to get going. Well, no. No, I was just trying to explain to you why I think going overseas is really important. Uh, overseas, right. Uh, well, like I said, Liv, I think it is probably a really good thing to do, but now is not the time. Yeah, I know. I know what you think. So I've decided to go anyway. You what? Well, the fares are really good. What, so you're going to go with or without me? Is that what you're saying? It's just something I feel I really have to do. Of course I prefer it if you came with me, but I know you don't want to go and I, I can't make you do something you don't want to do. So unless you change your mind, I'll have to go by myself. What do you think? You should do it. What? Well, who am I to stand in your way? Well, you were serious about going it alone, weren't you? Oh, of course. Of course I was, yeah. Can't wait. And like you said, you won't miss too much, uni. No, not a lot. Man, you'll have a ball. Sure. But what if I like it so much I decide to stay? Well, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when you come to it. I reckon you'll be back eventually. Really? You're OK with this, aren't you? My, my decision to stay, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd hate to be in one of those relationships where we were joined at the hip. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy we can make separate choices like this. It's, um, it's very adult. Good. <laughs> Great. I could kill him. Well, it's always an option. How dare he just let me do what I want like that? <laughs> well, it is what you want, isn't it? Oh, how do I know? I blame you for this, Carl. Why? Because you spoiled her when she was a little girl, and now when she doesn't get her own hey, way. This isn't because I'm not getting my own way. Oh, please. I won't cry. Maybe just you know, a little bit. You know, the least you could have done was put up a fight. Why are you testing him? I'm not. Oh, the poor boy can't put a foot right. And you, Missy, you what? throw a spanner in the works every time it looks like smooth sailing. Why? Why would I do that? Oh, beats me. They seem nice, don't they? The, mm. the mum seems a bit... I don't know. It's hard to yeah. describe, really. Will you two please stop it? They could see you. Oh, look at those poor girls struggling with that heavy stuff. Carl, <sighs> you should go over and offer to lend a hand. I'm not lifting anyone's heavy stuff. It's my day off. Very friendly, your father. Libby. Very neighbourly. Libby, could you pry your mother away from the window before a nose attaches itself permanently to the glass? Okay, about to slip a disc. Um, just the one. So embarrassing. The whole street's watching us and they all think we can't afford anyone to help. Do you lot stop whinging? Oh, no. You're not having one, are you, love? Depends on how far I'm pushed. Well, I've managed to unpack some things into my room. And just which one have you decided is yours? Just one of them. I don't know. It's tiny. Hey, that's mine. You and Flick are sharing the big one, remember? And it sucks. Yeah, well, why can't we have a room each? We've explained all this, because your dad yeah. needs to study and I need I somewhere see to why sew. Steph and I can't just tussle them and see uh, if share with Sorry, I'm actually. the oldest. My privilege. Yeah, privilege. That's not fair. Yes, it is. Girls, we have fair? explained that's... all this. When just... I wasn't there, Yes, you were, no, Michelle. We were all there. Everyone, I don't believe this. Now, 
we've got a nice new home and a nice new street. <sighs> Something your mother and I have wanted and worked for for years, especially for you kids. And instead of being happy, it's who's got what room, she's not lifting this and who's getting away with this or that. Now, I don't want to hear another word. Or I might just be tempted to go back to the fags. Oh, no, Dad, Joe, Dad, no, come on. It's been a whole six weeks. The girls don't mean anything, love. We're all just a little tired and emotional. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry. I didn't start it. Michelle. OK. I'm sorry, too. It's been a long, <sighs> stressful day. So let's get it over with. No more whinging. Mum, I might have a way we can get this done quicker. Hi, I'm Felicity from across the road. Oh, g'day. Come on in. Um, I'm Lance. Hi. And uh, just in here, this this is Toefish. Howdy, neighbour. Yeah, howdy. Um, sorry to bother you, but we've got some heavy furniture to lift and Dad's too proud to ask, so I was wondering if it's not any trouble. Say no more. Rebecca and Wilco at your service. Who? Oh, here's Rebecca. I'm Wilco, like Wilkinson. Oh. Is there anyone else here? Just because some are always... Hi. Hi. Bill, this is... Felicity. Felicity Scully. Hi, I'm Bill. Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks, lads. This might take long. Yes, thanks so much for coming. It's really sweet of you to help. Oh, Steph, get one of the boys to help you with that. No. Yeah, you want a hand? No, it's cool. Steph, don't be so stubborn. Let Bullfrog help you. Oh. Yeah, it's Tony, actually. Lenny, can you get the boys a kappa? Oh, certainly, Foreman Joe. Here, I'll help you. OK, boys, you get on this end. Fleck, can you do something useful? I am. I'm carrying this. Do you yeah, strain yourself? Oh, shut up. I'll show you later. Get on with it. Get on before. with it, you two. OK, lads, on the count of three. You ready? Three. Come on. Oh. oh, lift, bullfrog. <laughs> Don't go there, Kennedy. You know, I reckon I could go overseas for six months and he wouldn't even notice. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. Oh, look, they do need help. Carl, please go over and offer to lend a hand. It's my day off. You just get up, go to work, come home, watch TV. Be as happy as Larry. Well, at least he's being honest. Well, I'm glad to see at least Billy offering a bit of neighbourliness. Very proud of him. But doesn't he realise I'm a journalist? I need to know what's going on in the world. Different lifestyles, cultures. I agree. Thank you. Glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. We're going over, Carl. No, we're yes, not. Yes, many hands make light work. Yeah, but the too many cooks spoil the broth. Come on, you know, oh. you think you'd want to, at least, I don't know, see <laughs> different <laughs> garages Come on. Or, or something? We'll talk but about no, this later. Exactly. Okay. Just long here without me. <sighs> now, thanks, guys. You've really helped a lot. Uh, where would you like this? Oh, uh... Oh! Oh, uh, I'll look anywhere for now. <laughs> Doesn't really go with this decor, does it? Then again, what would? Whoever put this together must have been colour-blind. <laughs> My mum kind of liked it like this. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure with the right kind of furniture it looked... Um, you got time for a cup of... Um, no, we'll just keep going, I think. Joe's yeah. got another load ready for us. Actually, Lance. a cup of tea would be great, yeah. Oh, lovely. Um, Bill, I might come with uh, you. Flick, g get the boys a cup of tea. Okay. Um, what are you doing? Moving your things out of the room until it's decided fair and square. No, you can't do that, Mum. Girls, I can't deal with this now. Steph, get us some lunch from those little shops we passed on the way and some for the boys. Oh, no, really, it's fine. Same here. Nonsense, I won't hear of it. And for heaven's sake, get something sweet for your dad. Since he's given up the smokes, he craves sweets all the time. Actually, uh, get something sweet for all of us. I'm not leaving my room. Oh, and for goodness sake, take Michelle Mom, with you, please. Oh, sick. oh, hello, again. Uh, well, we're just getting some lunch. If you'd fancy some... Yeah. Look, I, I don't think a breakup is easy on anyone. Yeah, but what's changed for him? Nothing. I mean, he still gets to see all his friends whenever he wants to, but because he doesn't want to see me, I'm the one who has to make all the concessions. Yeah, it's a tough one. Oh, hmm. oh look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laying all this on no, you. No, 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 it's fine. No, nah, no, it's not. <laughs> so how's the warehouse working out? Oh, I'm loving it. Vanto's great. He's so passionate about his work. And I, I don't know, it's like we all seem to click there. All, I mean, all, all of us. I feel really lucky. Oh, that's great. Look, 
back and um, well, don't take this the wrong way. It's just that I've recently been there myself and... And what? I just think you should be really sure of what you're doing. See, I hurt Jerry because I wasn't honest with how I felt about Hi. Libby. Hi. I am um, moved into your street. I saw you there this morning. I'm Stephanie Scully. Oh, g'day. I'm Drew Kirk. Nice to meet you. Um, oh, this is Anne. Anne, Anne Wilkinson. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Drew, what do you do? Oh, I'm a mechanic. <laughs> ah, I thought so. Fantastic. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, I reckon you and I are going to get to know each other really well. Dr Kennedy, it was really nice of you to let your boy come over and help. It's an absolute pleasure. Please call me Carl. Oh. Hey, Doc. Hey, boy. Oh, Joe, this is Dr Carl Kennedy, Sue's husband, uh, Susan's husband. <laughs> come to lend a hand. Yeah. Missed you on the way in. Uh, no, I was out the back with some of the uh, garden furniture. <sighs> oh, your time is just right. All the heavy stuff's done. <laughs> just oh. as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to hurt those uh, surgeons' hands. Uh, no, actually, I'm just a, a GP. Just a GP? Do you listen to him? Anyone who's taken the Hippocratic Oath has my total admiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you do, Susan? I'm the, uh, the, the principal of the local high school, Erinsborough High. Oh, great. Mm. Great, you can keep an eye on these two. Let us know what's really going on. Oh, well, well, you won't have any trouble with the girls. They got on very well at their last school. Oh, we're looking forward to having them both. <laughs> Um, do you work, Lynn? Oh, yes. Well, we're all working women oh, these days, aren't we? Have to be. <laughs> I'm a hairdresser. Oh. You have lovely hair. Oh, thank you. Ever thought of getting it cut? Oh, well, oh, yes, yes, from time to time. Well, you know where to come. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you with the split ends, too. Split ends? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That, that would be great. Well, that's it, Joe. We'll be heading off, mate. Yeah, me too. Uh, look, thanks for the offer. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for the offer of lunch. I've really got to get going. Yeah, thanks anyway. Uh, bye, Bill. Oh, well, that's all right. I don't know where Steph's got to. She must be lost. Yeah, hey, thanks, lads. Uh, you, you've been a lifesaver, and once we get set up, I'll uh, fire up the barbie, have you over for a few cold ones. Even bring your old man if you want him. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm sorry I couldn't get here before, Joe. Just you know, a few things to do at home. Yes, but... Carl was just flat out. Oh, I can imagine. <sighs> the hours you must work. I don't know how you do oh, it. Yeah. No. We'll leave well, it to you. Well, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Ta-da. Oh, what lovely neighbours. Professor Blake's a bit stuck up. Oh, he was really nice, I thought. Pretty Steph didn't come back. I think she might have been a bit keen on me. <laughs> keen to get away from you. Right. See you guys later. I'm off to Pinheads. See you, mate. Hey, why don't I give you a lift? I'm heading that way anyway. Yeah, cool. Well, she seems uh, rather nice anyway. I don't have Spinets. And I bet I end up being sued. <laughs> You're such a snob. I'm not. I'm just saying. Some people have taste, some people don't. Oh, so judgmental, Sue. Look, what one split end. My hair is in perfect condition. That one was mad. <laughs> Oh, hang on, what's that? So you see, I'll need a good mechanic. I can't just trust my bike to anyone. You are good, aren't you? <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> well, we'll see. I do do a lot of the repairs myself, but I need a hand every now and then. Do you mind if I bring it round for you to have a look at sometime soon? Hey, thought I might find you here. Mm, no, uh, that'd be fine. Maybe this is our new neighbour, Stephanie Scully. Hi. Yeah, hi. we sort of met this morning. Yeah, hi. How's the moving in going? Oh, you know, hell. <laughs> I should probably get going. Nice. Everyone's starving. <laughs> see you around. Bye. So, that's why you're so keen to see me leave. You what? The girls queuing up already. Oh, get out of it. Anyway, you're the one that wants to go, and like I said, I think it's great. I know what you're doing. What? The old reverse psychology thing. Let her think I wanted to go and then she won't. Well, it's not gonna work. I've got you sussed. Oh, I love you. Now I have to get back to work. I can't believe we're living next door to the school principal. How embarrassing. How annoying. Oh, sucked in. <laughs> Looked like the two of them couldn't wait to leave to me. Well, that's not true. Sue came back twice, for heaven's sake. Mum, it's Susan. Oh, what did I say? And I know what you're thinking, Joe. Just because he's a doctor, there's no need to be defensive. Who's defensive? Oh, hey, did you see that Salvo guy get into his car across the road? <laughs> hey, you'll have a scene in hymns and rattling collection tins. <laughs> Could anyone say something positive about the new neighbours, I wonder? 
Well, there's some nice guys, nice looking guys, wouldn't you say, Flick? Felicity's not interested in that sort of thing, are you, darling? Boys are boring. See? Yeah, I know. I just gotta drop some stuff off to me out of the warehouse. Oh what? No, stop the car. Why? I'm not going to the warehouse, I walk to Penance. Billy, you're being ridiculous. The, no, I'm not. Stop the car. This won't take a second. So, I don't want to get anywhere near them. If I see that fan I'd like again, okay, I'll fine, have it your way. Just stop the car. I still think you're being an idiot. Oh, thanks for the support, mate. Oh, good one. These are mine. No, they're not. They're Anne's. Oh, I got them to her. She's not getting them back. Yeah, don't be ridiculous. Give me the... Anne will kill you when she finds out. You know that, don't you? Oh, she's tried that already. Bill! Bill, come back! <laughs> 